What's up, ladies and gentlemen? This is Sal. You are watching Team Fortress TV here with Sal and Slynn on the post-produced cast. Looking pretty nice. Beater has done the camera work for us once again, and we are bringing you a blast from the past this time around. Zensity versus the Chess Club. Oh yeah, this is going to be an exciting game for sure. We're picking out the best matches for you every week, and so this is definitely one to watch. Zensity uh, and Chess Club are both uh, capable of going to LAN this week. So it'll but be an this, match this, this of course, yeah. Remember, this was like the first week of TF2. They're playing on Metalworks, which is a map I don't even I haven't like played once. Maybe I played it once on a pub server. Uh, it's, <laughs> it's, it's weird. And the, since this is from like two ish weeks ago, uh, we're gonna have Zensity with Ark still on the team. He has since left the team, uh, and they've parted on good terms no, as no, far no. as I know. But no, no, no. They definitely no. have Spades in this match. Yeah, so uh, oh, Ark oh, left so the week his, before. His Arkizzi, yeah, yeah, but... so Ark is actually confusing. That's actually space. Let's go over the rosters real quick wow, over here. That's ridiculous. <laughs> I know, it's so confusing as a caster. But for Zensity, you have Blinky, Relic, and Mela, Spades, the Joker, which is uh, Smacka, and then RB. And uh, Mela will be your pocket soldier, and Relic is your roamer. And then on the other end, uh, for the chess club, you have Tri, Weeble, Kermit, KBK, Oove Destroyer, aka Visitor, and Boomer. And uh, Okay, alright. Exactly, so... <laughs> well, then we're about ready to get into the match here. I'm pretty sure that uh, our two minutes is up, and very soon we'll be seeing these players actually start shooting at each other. Zen City versus the Chess Club here on Team Fortress TV. Uh, we are going to have another match coming at you pretty soon here, that uh, that big Vector versus um, fully torqued match. We're, we're going to do that one too. Don't worry. Don't get your, uh, your pants in a knot here. But uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to this one. I have heard this game, as our stream chat is saying, was legendary. So we're going to see mm -hmm. what happens. Yeah, and this is, a, again, a very important match for both of these teams because uh, they need a lot of wins going into land. So uh, whichever one wins this one is definitely going to have a leg up. Okay, I, I did not spoil it for myself at all. I have no clue who won this match, and we are getting Ooh. into it right now. The Joker here, a.k.a. Smacka. It's going to be, uh, we're going to be on his rollout first, so I'm assuming he does some damage at mid, but you know, with Beater, you can never be quite sure. Sometimes he picks the person who's first to die, and that's just as fun <laughs> to watch. Um, but yeah, here they go, man. The... Uh, the rasters are ready. The Joker kind of, uh, did he whiff that rollout or is that what you're supposed to do? That's pretty much this about what you're supposed to do. It's just, just run down the middle and uh, hope for the best. And he's actually shooting some stickies at the far end, but actually landing some onto the soldiers as well. We do see spades going in underneath, trying to find some damage there. But no, with this bombers up in the air for the chess club, they do take down Mela. Meanwhile, Visitor goes down and try dead as well here as spades dies. Wow. And it's going to be four on four still. Well, yeah, Spade's got a nice little uh, 2k there, and we've got Relic standing up on the high ground now. Nobody's going to be able to take him out. Demo actually normally pretty good at that with the sticky sniping, but Relic is keeping the med alive and safe and sound, um, you know, secure, building up that 401k a little bit. He's chasing down the enemy med now, though, and can he get the kill? Uh, is that going to be a crater? No, it is not. Yes, it is. No, KBK is just gone. <laughs> He's dead. So Relic yeah. with the kill there, is, is that going to make this uh, quick round? Oh yeah, definitely. Blinky's going to have large uber advantage now as they capture mid and likely the second point for free, or the fourth point I should say. Relic meanwhile hiding in that lobby looking for something he can get and maybe he might be able to pick off the medic again, I'm not quite sure. But either way, hiding there uh, is kind of risky because if he gets picked off, that will slow down his push into last. Meanwhile, we do see the combo for Zensity now moving into the uh, second point. Oh, 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 visitor trying to hide on that drop down. Meanwhile, Relic does pop out of the corner and oh, picks wow. off KBK and that's just going to continue that advantage. That's pretty ridiculous play from Zen City right there, all around. Both soldiers doing a fantastic job. Mela spotting the enemy uh, trap, as it were, and then Relic being the trap for the enemy team. So that is just textbook uh, phalanx formation. You know, you're you're uh, <laughs> <laughs> you got one side smashing into the other one, and uh, it's pretty much going to be straight Greek tragedy right here for uh, Chess Club. That's, that's <laughs> awful. That's a uh, first round very quickly going to Zensity. <laughs> That's awful. Anyways, uh, yeah, Zensity are going to make it 1-0 here. And uh, it's important to note that, you know, when these mid fights, when we're watching these demo men roll out, both of these demos have been to land. They were both at land last season. Uh, and they're both extremely experienced. So uh, now we're going to be watching Kermit on this rollout as he makes it out there. And he's only at half health, though. Uh, Actually, we're switching over to Smacko while I wasn't looking, okay. And uh, Smack is going to be throwing more stickies towards that top right lobby door. Hitting a couple on the soldiers here as they come out now. And uh, Chess Club Soldier is high in the air looking for some damage. Meanwhile, uh, looks like Mela in the air as well. Smack it taking down Visitor Try and Kermit down as well. Three players down now for the Chess Club as Relic's going to go down to uh, Weeble there. But still, the damage has been done. <laughs> Sensei pushing into the lobby already. RB overextended Everybody's goes down. Everybody's invisible. But... 
I, of course, maybe this isn't what Smacka saw, but yeah, Smacka was shooting in like invisible scouts, invisible soldiers. Um, it may, like I said, it may not have been what he saw on his screen, but according to uh, according to Beater's camera work, we had some invisible people going around there, and Smacka still managed to kill them all. So uh, good for him. Yeah. Actually, Smacko's known that one of the lands they're playing on a. <laughs> the legend goes that he was playing on a, a mouse pad that was made out of cardboard. So he got his own at home. But, uh. <laughs> now the uh, Ubers are gonna be exchanged at the second point here. Both Ubers are pop. Uh, looks like Zensity have a slightly better one here. And uh, now Kermit's actually coming in. Now taking down Blinky, the Joker, and Arkizzy. Wow, three kills for Kermit there. Uh, meanwhile, Relic's gonna go down as well. So is Chess Club able to hold that one off and uh, continue pushing on to mid here? And Sal, that was an excellent play, but Mela's hiding behind. Uh oh, and uh, we, we know what happens when these soldiers start hiding. We got Mela taking down Boomer on that scout immediately. Boomer, a very good scout. Mela not quite able to catch up with that health kit, so that's going to be the only kill he gets. KBK is still safe and sound, and uh, with 55% Uber, it's going to be a nice advantage. Oh yeah, definitely. Meanwhile, Visitor jumps in and takes down RB, and that's going to continue that man advantage as Chess Club are now two players up. Uh, they're just going to stack the point here and make sure that those players don't get forward spawns, and now they're going to continue push pushing into the lobby. 60% uh, advantage for KBK, and meanwhile, Smack is trying to set up a trap in the lobby. So that lobby trap itself, is uh, is that a common one? I'm, I'm sure that there's nothing common on Metalworks for <laughs> most players. I know that, that maybe an invite, it's different, but a lot of Oof. people just don't like playing these. Relic does get taken down very quickly by Visitor. He spots that out, so yeah. no trap going to work this time. Well, to answer your question, that lobby is extremely dangerous. There's so many different like corners and places to put stickies around there, so you have to be very careful. And as we saw in the last round, Visitor was hiding up in a corner as well there. Um, now we do see uh, Chess Club now pushing onto the fourth point, getting a lot of cap time there, and actually pushing past it. I really like how they're doing that preventing Zensity from being able to contest the point. And uh, meanwhile, Visitor is going to go down, but uh, KBK still has a little bit of an uber advantage left as uh, they try and push into last one man down. And they might be successful. Boomer trying to hop up on top of those crates and realizing, wait, Scout can't quite jump high enough. Uh, takes down Spades there. That's Arkizzy. No problem. Um, mm -hmm. But that, that's the only kill. They're all retreating right now and kind of waiting for uh, what happens next. Yeah, they took a, a little bit too long to get into last with that. And by the time they did, Blinky already had the uber. Um, and it, it, to make it matters worse, they were pushing 5 on 6, which is pretty difficult. Uh, but now we do see that Chess Club are going for a repush here on the off Uber. Uh, Tri does go down to Smacka, though. Meanwhile, Scout's trying to get onto the point. The Heavy is able to push him right off, though. Relic takes down Boomer. Uh, Smacka goes down, so no Demo Man alive for the Chess Club, but they're down 3 players, so they're going to have to back up to their, well, excuse me, back up to their second point. And um, Sal, that was not a very good push. No, the chess club, uh, and I know they've been looking fairly good this season. Oh, Kermit with a sick shot there on RB. I know they've been looking really good this season. Um, in this game, perhaps the uh, the whiffed push is uh, is not indicative of their future play, but uh, are, are they, you know, well, I guess I'll ask this later. You know what? We'll, we'll talk about their records yeah. after we've watched the game. Well, I was going to ask a, a stupid question. <laughs> Well, the Ubers are going to get exchanged on the second point, actually, but Chess Club has their respawners in here, so it's going to be 6 on 6 melee. Meanwhile, jumping around, he does find the Demo Man, but pushes him right out. Uh, meanwhile, tries taking down Blinky, the medic, in the lobby. So, uh, Mela, let's see if he can, he can take down uh, KBK. He has to get the kill here, otherwise they're going to be in a lot of trouble when uh, oh, Chess Club get to last. Oh, he juked him so hard right there. Mela completely juked both those soldiers. Comes in, gets some free damage. Uh, not going to get a lot of kills there, but wow. Yeah, really great play there, and now that KBK has the heals up and the medic down for Zensity, looks like Chesco pushing into last Kermit. Nice pipes and damage onto the point there. Uh, meanwhile, Trey's... Whoa, actually he does get that last cap and make it 1-1 for the chess club. Nice job by Kermit. So Mela's juke was not quite enough to save the round. If he'd just gotten one more rocket off there, I think that really would have changed things. Uh, could have gotten a kill or just done a lot more damage to the invading team. Made them a lot weaker for that attack, but as it was, the chess club will bring it to 1-1. One -to -one. Yeah. So uh, these mids have been back and forth, actually, Chess Club, uh, just sending their soldiers up in the air every single time. Let's see if they do it again this time. Uh, Kermit's taking a sticky early on, and he's going to get pushed back to his medic. The soldier's now in for the Chess Club, and uh, looks like Zen City are sending soldiers of their own as Visitor uh, tries to get a kill on the other side, but no. Go, uh, oh, he does get the kill on a Relic. Nice job there. Meanwhile, KBK goes down to Mela. Chess Club now try in behind. Zensity does take down the med right away. Going for the shots on Smacka as well. And uh, Mela, the third kill for Weeble actually. But Try did a lot of damage there as well. So uh, Chess Club looking pretty good for this mid fight. Mm -hmm. And uh, both medics did go down. So we should be seeing a fight on the fourth point uh, for Chess Club. But uh, Zen City are not having that bad of mids. Actually, Smacka's getting early damage onto Kermit. And the Soldier Bomb uh, for... for uh, Sorry, Relic wasn't that bad, but 
chess club just came out on top with the DM. Yeah, and uh, it's something that they are known to do with the players they have try an absolutely beast soldier. Uh, I've been watching him this season more than I have in the past, and uh, he is very, very impressive. Kermit, of course, an amazing, uh, amazing demo man. One of the classes that doesn't start with S, actually. Um, <laughs> Confuses me sometimes, but uh, yeah, Kermit, an amazing demo. I don't know what the deal is. He does seem to be getting consistently slower rollouts than Smacka, so maybe he hasn't practiced this map as much. Right. Well, we do see Visitor actually sneaking around through the lower parts, uh, but no, he's not going to go for anything there. Uh, and a lot of the times, the uh, soldiers in the, in the lower divisions, the pocket soldiers, try and get pushes out of the lobby, but it's actually better to go out of the flank on this one. So they're gonna, they should be rotating around uh, to the alleyway soon. Well, you never know. Sometimes you just got to mix it up, right? If, if everybody knows you're always going to go for the flank or you're always going to go for the lobby, then it becomes really easy to, to predict what you're going to do. That's true. So, so we'll, we'll probably see them favor that lobby side or the flank side, I mean, and it looks like that's what they want to do. You're right. Um, but sometimes oh, they got to right. they push it through the lobby. There you go. Try yeah. taking a big sticky trap, but he was invincible, so not going to do any damage. And there you go. He finally forces the uber at intensity, but they've got a good uber position here. They didn't have to pop for quite a while, so you see what's happening. Mela taking advantage of that. Pushing forward and getting a nice kill there. Relic and RB doing a couple of uh, a couple of good kills there too. So chess club uh, yeah. owned. And owned. that's exactly what I was talking about there. If you try and get out the lobby, you get forced way too early. And then you saw that Zensity had a much better Uber, came in and just cleaned everything up. And uh, now Zensity looking pretty strong to finish out this round here as they're capping the middle and they're going to have very large advantage to push the second point. Yeah, Smack is starting to lay down sticky traps at the normal spots in front of those doors and over by the side. Uh, he just wants to make sure they don't lose the point right away to the uh, the very aggressive chess club right now. Of course, they can afford to be aggressive. They're going to have a nice uber advantage and push in pretty soon. So uh, what's your prediction here? Well, uh, Zen City has such a large uber advantage, they should be able to get in the last, especially with Lebo Weeble playing on Sniper. He's going to try and get an early force here from Zen City, but I'm not sure if he can get this to work. I mean, uh, if you do have a Sniper on last, you're down half a player. So we do see the uber coming in now for Zen City, getting an early pick on to try. They're trying to target down that heavy there, and yeah, that cap time comes in for Zen City, and they're going to make it 2-1. Yeah, Heavy was standing up there trying to get the kills. He just wasn't able to quite get that gun on top of the chess club scout who was capping. And that was it. The chess club mm -hmm. now uh, trailing Zensity here. But I don't know, man. I've, I've heard this is a good game. So will we see? Well, I mean, it's still a very good game. We saw, uh, you know, chess club were actually pushing into the other team's fourth. And then they messed up and then Zensity brought it back. So it's still pretty close. Still 2-1. Uh, Kermit now on this mid. Uh, pretty lit up once again by Smacka. And now we do see the bombers coming in for Zensity. We do see Relic jumping in very high, trying to take down Kermit. RB able to finish that one off, but <laughs> wow, so many picks coming in for the chess club there in the it's lobby. A nice needle kill too, yeah, by KBK. Mm -hmm. I wonder what Kermit was doing. He saw the soldier jumping straight at him and then didn't do anything about it. Uh, Oove douchebag here, the uh, wonderful visitor, is just kind of running around with one health. He didn't really care. <laughs> yeah, well... It's tough. When you go for the Demo Man right away on such a small map, I mean, the Scouts and Soldiers can close ground and do a lot of damage, so I'm not quite sure I agree with Relic trying to go for the Demo Man first instead of some other targets, but uh, it does appear now that Chess Club are getting ready to push into last. Blinky is going to have the Uber in time, though. They are running the standard uh, Heavy Sniper as the Chess Club pop their Uber out of their left side and dive straight in for that spawn door, forcing that Uber uh, from Blinky. And now we do see Mela trying to chase out the combo on the right side. Can he get KBK down? Yes! Nice rocket to finish him off there, and that's all they need. Well, uh, Zensei is looking pretty good then. They, once again, may have that really rock-solid defense that's going to save them the round. Uh, Blinky will have a nice Uber advantage for them to push out with if they feel like it, but right now they are feeling a little bit, uh, you know, they're a man down. It'll be a little bit goosey. Goosey is the word. Trying to push out from their last point, they might, you know, fall victim to a bat cap, and that would be just the worst. I hope not. <laughs> well, we do see Weeble uh, hiding underneath the point. I'm not sure why he's doing that since uh, their combo is upstairs. <laughs> Uh, now they're popping out, and uh, Blinky does have a 30% advantage. I don't think he's going to be able to act off of it, though, because they don't have any picks, and it's actually kind of difficult to get out of this uh, last point. There's, uh, For those of you who aren't familiar with Metalworks, this lobby area is so congested, it's really difficult to get out without getting forced early on, so you're going to have to wait for the other team to push first. Or, you know, wait for the Mucinex to kick in, and uh, it does look like Zen City right now. <laughs> is yeah they they are doing exactly that slim they are waiting and waiting and waiting they've still got that heavy sitting out here because uh what else are you gonna do yeah heavy's really strong on the last point uh there's so many walls on the last you can just hide behind him as a heavy and you know pop out at the right time 
fight. Yeah, you, you just won't take a lot of the damage from people, you know, shooting random rockets into the last point. And you've got a ton of HP. You see Relic there above 300 health, so you're going to take, you know, three, three or four stickies, three or four rockets. Um, that's basically taking a full man out of the fight or causing a huge amount of focus fire, which, you know, right. keeps the rest of your team open to all kinds of damage. All right. Well, we do see a chess club. We're probably going to go for some sort of sacrifice play here. It's hard to push on even Ubers, and uh, we do know that Spades is on Sniper. And here comes Visitor trying to bomb in, but that Heavy denies him right away, juggles him up into the air. Meanwhile, Weevil out of that right side does pick up Spades. Relic goes down as well, so it's going to be four on four. And actually, chess club might try and push in here, Sal. Yeah, uh, they probably should at the moment. I did like that pyro play, and he's still out here trying to destroy this Uber. Uh, looks like the counter Uber will get popped there by the red team, and the, uh, the RB on the pyro is still alive with four health. Goes in and grabs a health uh, from the cabinet, and he is actually still playing pyro. He's out here lighting people on fire once again, uh, popping the med up into the air, not quite able to get the kill here. But uh, Chess Club got a lot of time on that point. They just weren't able to finish it off. Yeah, Boomer just went straight to the point to try and force them there. But uh, actually, he goes down on the flank to uh, Relic. Meanwhile, Mela picks off Weeble. So with three players down for the Chess Club, Zensi are going to be able to make it out of here. Now they're trying to back out quickly uh, through the lobby. Meanwhile, Relic trying to get some angles here from the uh, point. But Zensi are having a hard time making it through here, actually, because Kermit has a trap oh. on that door. He just took down Relic. And actually, the respawner is coming in quickly for Chess Club. It's going to force Zensi back to their last. Yeah, and that's exactly that lobby and all that congestion you were talking about. Just so hard to push onto the second point because of all these narrow chokeways uh, with lots and lots of sticky trap potential. Um, very interesting that they still have RB on the pyro. He has not yeah. decided to hop off of that at all. Oh, wow. And there you go, they pop the Uber on the pyro. Yeah, Kermit just pushed his way in there and got that force from Blinky. And now he's getting juggled up in the air himself. He's going to go down, but at least KBK is going to uh, pop into last here with his Uber. A better Uber is going to be four on four. Can they get some more picks, though, with this? With their Devil Man down, it's going to be tough here. As now the scout respawners, RB trying to push into KBK. KBK down to 18. Going to go down here. And now, oh, wow, Blinky went down as well. So the medics have been traded. Chess Club do have slight numbers, but now Zen City have the respawners coming in. RB uh, and Spades able to get picks onto the scouts. So Chess Club now down in numbers. Can Zen City make it out quickly enough to get the second point? I uh, want to say no for Smack, although no, actually a scout comes in and saves him from that mean old nasty soldier. Uh, it's going to be Smack a taken down visitor, no problem. And now he's going to go try to find the med, maybe get some health. Um, Zen City's fights recently have been pretty good. They, they usually end up with low health, but they've gotten kills and not died, uh, especially on that one enemy push into last. Although it does look like um, Chess Club now... <laughs> Wow, Weeble, second point. Weeble just getting himself into last year, getting a 4k after taking down like the entire team and now Chess Club are going to be able to roll right in there. That's amazing. Weeble won that 1v1 on the flank and just came in and cleaned up everything there and he won that round for the Chess Club making it 2-2. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with Weeble, man. That guy is pretty solid. Incredible. And it's, I, it's so we got one more round before the half. Whoever yeah. wins this up in the half. Uh, they're going to feel a little bit like the Ravens. <laughs> yeah, we just watched the Super Bowl, so... Uh, but yeah, I was going to say, I know Weeble in real life because he lives like, he goes to school like an hour away from me, so... Oh, met nice. a couple times. Okay. But uh, now well, that's, that's going to be pretty cool. Yeah, no, for sure. He's a great guy. Uh, but we see again, once again, uh, Kermit taking early damage at mid, and now we do see uh, Chess Club trying to push with their scouts. Weeble's going to go down here, but try. Picks up a nice 2k on the Demo Man and the scout. Meanwhile, Spades trying to fight him off there. Does take him down. It's still going to be 4 on 4. Meanwhile, Spades! Wow, nice pistoling. Taking down Visitor 2? How much more can Spades do? Oh, no. Boomer's going to finish that one off there, and uh, I think that Zen City are going to back out of this mid. Yeah, you can't escape Boomer. And Zen City is uh, really suffering at these mids, I think. Well, no, it's not Zen City suffering. Um, Smack, of course, does a pretty good job of getting into the mids. But uh, Chess Club is usually suffering a little bit because their demo just can't get in there. Uh, and Smack uh, typically has stickies mm -hmm. to just completely block him out by the time he shows up. So uh, it sometimes is surprising that Chess Club manages to do as well as they do at these mids. And it looks yeah. like we do have Visitor on the Spy. Yeah, uh, interesting play here. It's definitely unexpected. Uh, but sometimes you need the unexpected to make something happen, and we do see the chess club had trouble pushing that fourth point uh, in the last round, so or two rounds ago, I suppose. So uh, maybe this is a good choice to go spy here. Uh, you know, they're not really sure where to push from, and trying to go out that lobby door really failed for them. They got wiped that one time. So let's see what visitor can do here. He's on the invisibility watch. I, I don't think that's cloak and dagger there, and he's actually diving in for that lower lobby uh, where he's not going to be seen. And he'll be able to uncloak in safety without being heard. Uh, but oh, actually, RB does spot him though, and I'm I'm surprised that he found him. Yeah, it's a little weird. Uh, he was 
looked completely invisible to me, so uh, we'll, we'll see if that actually works out for him. He still uh, he still has some element of surprise there, but no, uh -uh, it's not going to work anymore. There you go. They found the spy. Completely useless waste of time. Yeah, but you know you can see that Chess Club are having difficulties getting into this fourth point here. They don't know how to approach it, and this being a new map in ESCA, a lot of teams don't know how to make that push. And whoa, Smacka trying to get some spam into the lobby gets taken down by Kermit's trap on the door. And this is going to be huge for the Chess Club, as now they can begin pushing in with the double man down. Try picks off Relic there, and that's a two-man advantage for the Chess Club. Now the Uber is going to get forced late by Blinky, but his soldiers already fell onto the ground. This Uber for them is not going to do very much. Meanwhile, Spades picking off Kermit, but uh. I'm not quite sure who's going to come out on top, actually. Chess Club going to have to probably back off of this. They don't have their demo man to finish the push. But, uh, that got close there. I, you know, we watched Relic's um, camera there as he was forcing the Chess Club Uber through the door. That was impressive. Uh, his, his ability to, like, jump... Because he knew he could buy a lot of time for himself and, and completely uh, avoid the enemy team just by sliding up against that wall for a couple of seconds. It was, uh, I'm sure it was pre-planned, and I'm sure it was a very beautiful maneuver uh, because he got <laughs> right on top of that med, uh, forcing an, an extremely early uber. Yeah, definitely. And you can see Smacko was trying to do the same as well. He was just trying to throw spam into the uh, the hallway there. And that's that hallway is just so difficult to push as a combo because there's it's so easy to get spammed in there. And you can see all the gore uh, <laughs> actually on that on that lower part of that lobby. Well, we will try to escape right now. He's got 59 health left after being chased down a little bit, probably by uh, I want to say I don't even know who would have been chasing him. Spades or RB there. One of the two seemed to be doing a lot of damage. But Weeble's coming in once again. He wants to try and get another one of those 4Ks. This time around, though, 10 health left. <laughs> and he just kind of falls onto the ground, and uh, his, his bacon legs cannot save him now. He is going to be dead. So the chess club loses a man. And at this point, Zensity having recapped their second point, I think they're not going to have much of a problem Ooh. pushing out on a mid. Uh, Uber Force early, though, and yeah, they dropped Mela there. Yeah, Blinky made a big mistake there, dropping his pocket, and now the better Uber coming in for the chess club. Try able to take down Relic, and here he comes aggressively onto the point, is able to find Spades. Can he finish him off here? Yes, he is finished off by Boomer, and now the three-man advantage for chess club means they're going to get the second cap easy, and maybe get into last. Ooh, yeah, we do of see. course, uh, mm, can RB do it? Yes, he can, easily enough. Uh, Weeble taken straight down, and RB hardly losing any health there at all. That was just kind of a little... Uh, uh, it almost looked like they were doing the tango for a second. They were circling around each other. I guess it's not really the tango, but you know, you get the idea. Uh, and we do have Ark thinking about going pyro, not with the degreaser. I don't even know if that's allowed anymore, but uh, well, so once again, the pyro out. Is it definitely a good thing that RB got that pick? Because if he lost that 1v1, Cheska would have pushed into last with a 6v5. But uh, after he got that pick, he's able to trade and go down happily. Uh, and yeah, it's interesting that they're running a pyro on last because you typically only see those on even ubers or sorry on uber disadvantages on your defense because uh, the pyro is so good at you know blasting the uber back and stalling time for your team. But on even ubers, it's kind of questionable. Uh, a lot of teams have been running engineer with the sentry underneath the bridge or other plays like that. Uh, but maybe this is their strategy. Maybe this wor works out really well. And Spades has been playing a great match thus far. You can see him at the top of the board, so I'm not going to question oh, him. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, neither am I. Uh, we may be running out of time here in this half. I don't know how much time is actually left. Um, interesting attempt at a Ooh. sniper battle going on here. It looks like uh, he got a headshot, but didn't quite manage to get a kill. Try now jumping in, and it looks like the Uber is forced for our red team. Just finishing up for KVK. He's only got 15 health left, but he will escape for now. Grabbing a health kit, and he's going to be just fine. Yeah, unbelievable. He's got the moves like Jagger. He was just jumping around and dodging there. Mela wasn't able to hit him at all, and now Chess Club doing the repush. Kermit getting a nice 2k on the Mela and, and Arkizzy, and uh, now it's still going to be 4 on 4. Can Chess Club finish the one off? They're trying to pressure the point here, and that's forcing other players to the point as Tri picks off Relic. He's going to go down here, but uh, looks like no, KBK and Kermit can have to back the day. off. Yeah. It's starting to look like this is one of those desperation pushes you see when there's just not a lot of time left. They know there's no way Zensity can get all the way back to their last point, and uh, so they're just trying to push in as fast as possible and see if they can get that round before the half is over. But I could be wrong. Uh, we could still have a lot of time, you know, like five or ten minutes, and I'm just really bad at counting time. <laughs> well, RB trying to go in and again and try and win one of those 1v1s, but he's going to go down, and now that 6-on-5 push that we were talking about, Chess Club, can they get into last before the timer is up? Uh, we do see Kermit at the top of the board, and Kermit is just such a good player. He can play any fragging class and just destroy, even probably a medic, but uh, he's so good on demo. And uh, I guess Chess Club are going to just be sending a couple players in to sack. Uh, they're not fully committing to this push here. We do see Blinky taking some span damage early on, and that's going to force his Uber as he tries uh -oh. to save his Pyro. Meanwhile, try down to just 3 health, but Chess Club able to back out without using their Uber there. And really questionable move by Blinky to pop that Uber, and uh, that's probably going to be their round there. 
It just could be as Chess Club are going to be pushing in very soon. They know they've got a huge advantage here. They don't want to squander it. Uh, they definitely don't want to like lose a man to a sniper or a sticky trap or something stupid. So they will be popping that Uber as soon as possible. Kermit watching for the stickies right now. They are coming in through the left-hand side, and there goes the Uber, keeping the scout, the uh, demo man, up. And they're going to try and finally take down one of these pesky pyros. Uh, looks like Spades and RB are both down there, so that's going to be a pyro and a scout. Relic still on the heavy, but he's down to 150 health right now, and not a lot of damage left before he goes down. <laughs> Oh, Kermit. Kermit was just solo taking out that heavy there. Like He basically did all the damage to the heavy. No one else was helping him out. And uh, that, was the, that was kind of the problem. They didn't really focus fire targets, and that's why Chess Club, uh, they had the man advantage. It was like 5 on 4, but Chess Club really couldn't finish that one off there. And now uh, that's going to allow Zensity to possibly push out, as they do have a 70% advantage, so... That they do, Zensity's feeling pretty good about this. So I was completely wrong about that uh, the, the timing, and I feel really bad. Really bad. Yeah. Uh, Arc, I'm sorry, Spade is going to jump straight in and just destroy a medic from behind. Not a lot the medic could do about that. You know, there's an invincible scout bearing down on you. He's got really good aim. It's like, okay, well, I guess I'll just, you know, I'll either run away and kind of hope he didn't hit me or I could just stand there and taunt, you know. The end result will be pretty much the same. Yeah, and uh, we see Relic on Heavy able to deny the, the attempted back cap by the chess club. Meanwhile, uh, Melee and, and Spades did a ton of work on the second point, allowing uh, Zen City to continue pushing on into mid. They do have large advantage as well, so uh, if they get this cap on mid, this is going to be trouble for chess club because they're down an Uber, and uh, who knows how much time is left in this half, so... Yeah, it's going to start to look like uh, what happens after you lose a mid. Not quite that bad because KBK is up to 20% now. But uh, at this point, Zen City has a big uber advantage pushing into that second point. Uh, they, the only problem there is that their opponents have all spawned. Kermit's going to have you know sticky traps up. They've got, oh, they've got the forward spawn heavy. Uh, this is classic Enigma play. What's going on here? Yeah, and this is, Metalworks is just like Snakewater where the forward spawn is right next to your second point where you can just pop out behind and do some crazy damage while the team is distracted. And uh, if Chess Club do this correctly, boom, is going to be able to do a ton of work. We see the Uber is going early for Sensity. Uh, they're trying to push into that lobby and get that in there, but uh, they don't get any picks off of it. And now Boomer comes oh, out, no. revealing oh, the heavy no. behind the door. He picks off Smacker right away. Can he get uh, Relic? No, Relic's going to be able to back off here. Mela also having to back off. And uh, so many players out of there for Zensity. Now Chess Club have the Uber advantage and the pick on the Demo Man. Here they come aggressively, trying to push them out of that valley. Zensity going to have to back up to mid and uh, down 50%. Can Chess Club get there in time? Ooh, Kermit gets a pick on the RB, and uh, that's going to be more damage for Chess Club. Zen City kind of shaking their heads right there, like, oh, come on, you know? Enigma already <laughs> did that once. We, we expected it, okay? We only lost one guy to that. So, uh, yeah, Boomer did a fantastic job of playing that heavy and, and picking the right time to do it. Um, but now Zen City, uh, they actually did manage to back off. They didn't lose their med. They haven't lost a lot of players here. They are losing some ground. Yeah, Chess Club's going to take mid. But the unfortunate part for them was they didn't force that Uber. Chess Club got into second into third point, sorry, uh, without using their Uber, and that's really unfortunate for uh, Zen City because now their player down is going to be six on five as the Ubers are going to get exchanged on this bridge. Uh, Zen City can come out with a slightly better Uber as Try goes down, KBK dropping in there, but Weeble gets another pick onto uh, Relic there, so it's going to be evened up. Meanwhile, Kermit going down, RB going down. This trade's going on for both sides. Looks like Zen City coming out on top though. Uh, man advantage for them is going to be four on two as they begin to push mid. Meanwhile, Boomer as a heavy 450 health on the mid, trying to hold these players off as best he can, but he's going to get overwhelmed in a second. He needs to back off right away. He's trying to duck underneath the point and use the these lines of sight, but you can't back off as a heavy when you've got fast classes who can bear down on you, like uh, like soldiers and scouts, demo men, you know, sticky jumping all over the place. Um, you basically just have to go find a little bit of cover, force them to go engage you a little bit closer, and try to do as much damage as possible because you're not gonna get away. Oh yeah, definitely. That's the main weakness. That's why you don't see a heavy that much on five CPs. Um... But now uh, it's, the Ubers are going to even themselves out. So Zensi, not doing too bad. That push wasn't that much of a failure for them. Uh, but we do see someone hiding again. I believe that's Weeble as a Pyro hiding it once again in the forward spot. And Chess Club just going back to this play over and over as uh, Visitor takes down Spades. If at first you don't succeed, I guess you try again. And uh, here goes Weeble. Uh, but he's been spotted really early here. And I don't think this Pyro play is going to accomplish much of anything. You have Visitor trying to jump forward right now. Um, but I don't see yeah. it happening yet. That's really rough for them. I mean, heavy is one thing when they're capping the point, but Pyro, especially he, was when he wasn't even running Backburner, which is, you know, sort of the go-to play. Just come <laughs> out behind and just crits everybody. But, uh, yeah, it's not really working out for them. And it's one of those things where when you're sitting in the forward spawn, it's an impulsive play. Like, do I go Pyro or do I not go Pyro? And you decide in an instant. And uh, he just chose the wrong play there. So uh, now Zen City, 20% uh, advantage, possibly pushing into last once again. 
Yeah, so at this point, they've got Visitor sitting on the Heavy Weapons guy. They've got an Uber disadvantage for the Chess Club. So Zen City could very easily push back in here and bring this 3-2 to two for the halftime um, you know, pretty soon here. But the real question is, can they actually accomplish this against a Heavy? How hard is it, is it to push in your experience? Last. I mean... You gotta expect most teams to be running a heavy at this point because it's so good at that last point. You can just dodge around. It's not like a sentry where you have to worry about it getting spammed down. He can hide and use those lines aside as best he can. But we do see Relic jumping in here and taking down KBK. Meanwhile, the Uber was popped by Zensity out the left door and with the medic down, no Uber for Chess Club. Uh, looks like Zensity should be able to finish the one off. They're trying to pressure the point. Uh, wow, Smacky getting a nice pill to take down two players, but Mela and Blinky going down here. It's gonna be a two on two. Can they finish it off? Try down to just 40 health and no rockets loaded. Weeble down to 17, taken down by Smacka. RB finishes off try. And Zensity make it 3-2. Yeah, Zensity uh, looked decent on that last push. Their Uber was not perfect by any stretch, but uh, mm -hmm. you know, Chess Club decided to just roll over and die for them there at the very end. And that, <laughs> that was uh, that was what made the half. So uh, Zensity three, Chess Club two. Yeah, and, and this is... it looks like we are pretty much just skipping the halftime. So uh, yeah. it's gonna be nice and fast. And this is what I would call an upset. I, I think most teams are predicting Chess Club to win over Zensity. And uh, right now, 3-2 to two, Zensity are looking pretty strong. And they were looking really uh, good at the end of that last half as well. So let's see if they can finish this one off here. We do see Kermit uh, firing some stickies off on the enemy team. Getting great damage early on, but again, taking early damage from Smacka. And Sal, I don't know how this is going to work out for them now. Well, he, he got in there and did a lot of early damage to Smacka as well. Uh, at that time around, he actually got his... his rollout, that's what I was looking for, uh, he got his rollout correct, and so he managed to uh, to almost beat Smacka there, which is something that I don't think he's been able to do most of this game. Uh, Visitor's gonna go ahead and finish off Mela, and that means that Zensity are retreating back to last. Uh, Blinky laying a couple of sticky traps here just to try and catch people off guard, but of course they're gonna be ready for that, I, I wouldn't expect. Oh no, Scout, uh, Scout chasing after your medic when the only person trying to save him is a demo, that's scary. <laughs> Yeah, Visitor did so much damage on that mid, he just jumps around like a nut, and you won't see it on the stats, Visitor doesn't have a very good KD typically, but he's just like Mackie where he just runs in there and does whatever he can, and uh, it really was effective for them. And now Chess Club with the fourth point, and uh, they're going to bring up Weeble on Heavy, and I do like this play for them, because uh, Heavy is a nice finisher, you can give him 450 and he can come in and clean everything up. Yeah, normally you, you do bring in that heavy after the rest of the players come in, so it's like they've already wasted a bunch of rockets on, you know, the, the jumping soldiers and the scouts and all that, and then your heavy starts waddling in like, oh, hey guys, <laughs> I, I missed the party, what's going on? <laughs> yeah, and when he has 450 damage, it's so hard to take him down, especially when you have players down or when you have nothing loaded. Uh, that's a really nice choice there. Uh, meanwhile, we do see uh, Zen City running the Pyro, RB, and Spades on Sniper. Uh, they're running actually three off-classes on this last, which is... A lot of off classing. Hopefully, Spades can make a shot here. Well, it's team uh, team pro lander, as it were, as we call uh, yeah. you know high lander. Except there's only six of them. But uh, yeah, Spades looking for the headshot. He's waiting for the med, maybe. No, I'm gonna go ahead and go for one of the soldiers. He was fully charged. Could have actually taken him out if he'd gotten that headshot. This time around, he will just kind of uh, knock Weeble down into 150 health territory, which is gonna cause the medic to have to heal him, and that's gonna take forever mm -hmm. because you know it's a heavy. Ooh, nailing a nice headshot there onto Kermit, but uh, previously to that, he was just hitting body shots all over the place, and hopefully, I mean, that's the problem when you run Sniper on last, is you need to actually finish somebody off to get it to work. Um, oh, he does get try, though, and that's going to allow Zensity to be man up. He gets another headshot onto the heavy, and now his team's going to begin moving forward to try and see if they can finish off that pick. Uh, he's angling into the lobby, so maybe he might get something else. No, he's going to back off there. A good choice. Uh, it's difficult. With three off-classers, you don't have any scouts to push out, and you need that 2x cap on the second point to actually make it out of your last. Yeah, so he did a ton of damage to the invading Chess Club team, but he didn't force an Uber, and that's just going to kind of reset things. Chess Club gets to try to push once again, and they you know send their spam over towards the heavy weapons guy. Um, and we get to sit and watch. <laughs> Yeah, uh, hopefully Chess Club can figure out how to make these pushes work into last. Uh, if you're running a heavy, you might choose to just go straight evens, then see if you can get anything out of it. Try is probably uh, one of the you know best pocket soldiers in the division, easily top four. And uh, he can do work there and maybe catch the enemy combo off guard. I mean, it is invite. Uh, sure, teams won't be that off guard by it, but you know, see what you can get. Uh, we do see that level 3 sentry on the ground for Zensity as they do have uh, RB switching from Pyro over to Engineer and that's going to catch Visitor who's trying to spam that one down and actually the combined spam from Visitor and try to take down the sentry there and now Visitor still lingering in last hiding underneath the bridge he jumps in to go for that sniper space but no goes down to Relic it's going to be still 5 on 5 Spades did go down to that after rocket by Visitor and now the Ubers are exchanged in the lobby 
Yeah, and of course there's a sentry going up at the same time as these Ubers are just kind of dancing around and clunking heads. Um, it looks almost like a, a game of football where they just, you know, smack into each other a couple times and then back off and they're like, okay, let's try this again when we're not invincible this time. Yeah. Um, but yeah, here comes Chess Club, uh, maybe attempting a rebush here? No, they're actually, uh, I guess, backing up out of this hallway a little bit because they are having some difficulties now with uh, Try, I think, just respawned. Chess Club, we're at five versus six for a while there. So now they're 6v6 again, but uh, their Uber is not really in any better position than Zensity. Once again, we're kind of resetting, pushing into this last. Well, I think, Sal, uh, for Weeble, it was very difficult for him to get into last as we talked about the chokiness of the lobbies and him being heavy, he had a hard time getting back into that fight. And we do see now Chess Club going for that repush off Uber, Kermit able to pick off spades, and now the 6 on 5, KBK is so close to Uber, he does have it now, 100%, and here comes Kermit taking down Mila again, uh, looks like the sentry alive and well for Zen City, as the Ubers are exchanged on the point, but with two players down, it's going to be tough, Chess Club now still lingering, they want to finish this one off here, the heavy underneath the point is going to get focused by the rest of the team, Relic picks off Tri, but he goes down, Blinky down as well, as Weevil goes down on the point, Boomer down on the point, Kermit trying to throw stickies at it, but no, taken down by Smacka's nice pipe, KBK goes down, and that's going to be a full white from the Chess Club, Zen City able to hold that one off there, excellent defense. Yeah, Zen City has that last point defense that's just beautiful. Visitor kind of getting into a weird position here where he's hoping people will walk through, but you can see the shadow right through that wall. That is just pathetic. Um, and, and that's, you know, it's, it's kind of a map maker problem sometimes where they make the wall too thin. I think it has to be a certain unit of, a certain number of hammer units thick so that you don't get that shadow problem. But uh, yeah, Visitor not realizing there that he was totally, totally visible. Yeah, uh, actually a lot of walls in TF2, that's why you enable shadows, I mean a lot of people have minimal graphics configs, but you enable shadows so you can see players through the walls like that. Uh, but we do see Zensity now with the man advantage, chance to push into mid here, they're trying to uh, leverage something off of the valley, but unable to really do anything. They do have a 20% advantage, but it's not going to be enough, and now we see Smacka sort of resetting the situation, and <laughs> look at him, putting stickies onto the vent up top, something a lot of teams won't expect. Yeah, I was watching um, Cadis actually doing his his Hui TF2. Uh, I forget to pronounce that guy's name exactly, but he was doing his um, Hui TF2 like mentoring session today, mm -hmm. and he was going over the not this map, but the map process, and you know just finding sticky traps all over the place. Of course, he's a European demo man, mm -hmm. and uh, these guys, I mean, they think about it. Th yeah. They think hard about where exactly these stickies should go, uh, you know, what kind of creative little traps they can put. And so uh, it's, it does not surprise me sometimes these guys come up with, with you know, innovative stuff. It's just that when you actually see where they put them down, it's like, oh, I would never have thought of that. Mm -hmm. And then I would have died to it like five times. <laughs> we do see Visitor getting buffed up, trying to move through the valley, making sure there's nothing there. And he's going to bomb in now to try and get the force from Blinky. He gets a ro one rocket in there, but no, doesn't get that force. And Zensity now have a man advantage. Another scout coming in from the side, Weeble, getting taken down by Mela. He tried to come in from underneath, but was denied there. And now two players down. Let's see if the chess club are able to hold this push off. As you saw, they're unable to get into that fourth point, so they're trying all sorts of different sacrifice plays. And I'm really surprised that they haven't figured anything out yet. As uh, now the Uber coming for Zensity is actually a pretty decent Uber. The Ubers are about the same time. Meanwhile, Relic going down. Uh, that's going to stop that there. Blinky, 35 health. He's going to back off to that health pack in the lobby. And now Chess Club trying to do something off Uber here. Six on five. Try finding a scout. Caught out. Does get spades in the mid. Uh, now two players down for Zensity. Boomer goes down in the valley, but still five on four. I think Chess Club can make this push happen off the flank. Yeah, Try getting really aggressive here, trying to jump forward as Mela goes down to Weeble, and Weeble is still oh. keeping the aggression up. A sick shot from Try, of course. I think I may be just a tiny bit behind you on the uh, camera action, but that was some excellent work there. It means Chess Club are going to be able to push forward nice and easy. Yeah, and uh, now Chess Club getting into last. They have so many picks going for them, and so they have such good health. Thanks to KBK, and now they're trying to stack the point here. It's only a couple players alive for Zensity, but uh, Space does get a pick on a try. It's not going to be enough here as KBK gets the Uber with a nice Uber saw. Drops his demo man, though. Can they finish this one off? The Uber is up, but Weeble doesn't have anything loaded, and now the Uber is popped by Blinky. Spades, or sorry, RB goes down. Can Mela get anything here? Weeble surfing high into the air off of that rocket, and now uh, Try is going to be able to reclapse onto the point. Boomer getting a pick onto Blinky. This fight has been so extended for so long, but Chess Club gonna choose to back off. They did get Blinky, they got the pick they wanted, they're gonna have Uber advantage if they back off here. Yeah, that was uh, by Weeble especially, that was an amazing play there on last, just to keep himself alive as long as possible, because he realized that his opponents really could not move. There was so much cap time on the point right there, that if they left the point at any time, there would have been a problem. Now RB is on the spy, he's decloaking, he's going for the med right now, I think he's been spotted. Not quite gonna get that kill. Yeah, he goes down there to try his nice shot. He, 
Um, and maybe Chess Club could push here. That's a risky take when you go spy and try and push off your last. Now the 6 on 5 off Uber play. Chess Club getting into last here, but Weeble overextended, taken down by Spades first. They're going to back off, and that's a bit unfortunate as uh, ooh, Visitor goes down there cratering to Relic and, uh, and Spades. But yeah, that's a bit unfortunate because KBK has a 30% Uber advantage. They could have waited just a little bit longer and they would have had it in time to push into last. But uh, I don't think they realized that Blinky wasn't building very efficiently. And uh, it's always tough to figure out sometimes, you know. Yeah, it really is. It's hard to tell, especially when you see the respawner. You're just counting off of when he respawns rather than how, you know, you can't really look in the last and see how efficiently he's building or how many buffs he's giving out. Unless you're like just sitting there behind a wall listening to whether or not the scout is hurting himself or whether or not the soldier's damaging yeah, himself, right. which, yeah, who does that? I mean, come on. <laughs> well, uh, Chess Club down a round still. The score is still 2-3. to three. Uh, Chess Club are behind, but they're in a position where they can just keep sacrificing players over and over again until they get 3-3. Three, three. So uh, we do see that, once again, the Pro Lander setup from Zen City, the level 3 setup now underneath the bridge. Uh, we do see Boomer try to get some cap time on the last, but denied oh. by that sentry spot. Yeah, that, that sentry looked a little bit like um, like a process sentry, actually, where you really have to commit to get all the way into last before you can even see the sentry, and then by that mm -hmm. point, you know, everybody else is shooting at you anyway. It's a very, very difficult situation to deal with. Arc, yeah. uh, spades, I'm sorry, looking for the shot right now. And, and that's the problem, is if you're chess club now, if you want to get into last with your uber, you see spades on sniper, you have to pop early, and then by the time you get into last and you actually get to the heavy and force the uber, you're down 50% or so. And now we see Relic on spy, he's going behind, he gets the pick onto KBK, huge pick by Relic, coming off of that last there, doing what spades couldn't, he goes down, uh, but the uber is going to come in now for Zensity, trying to deal as much damage as they can. With Smacka dead though, I don't think they can get out of this though. Uh, Melee getting a pick onto visitors, it's still going to be 4 on 4, and yeah, they can't get out. No, but at the very least, you know, the, the worst that happens right now, if they keep their players alive, is that they've kind of reset things, the enemy's just going to push in again, and Zen City's defense is still really good. They don't want their enemies to get this many shots on goal, but uh, they can handle it. Oh yeah, definitely. Uh, so Blink is going to have that uber advantage after KBK went down. I don't know if it's going to be enough for them to push out. Uh... Even, even if you had 100% of your advantage, it'd be difficult to get out of here, as you don't want to get forced and then uh, let Chess Club leapfrog. Uh, so I think they're just going to have to chill out. A boomer go switching over to Heavy. Uh, Arby's getting his level 3 sentry back up on the ground. And yeah, Chess Club are having problem with their pushes all over the place, whether it's pushing forth or pushing last. Uh, they just... I don't know if they haven't practiced the map enough, or they're just not familiar enough with it, but they're... It's, it's such a, you know, different feel for them because I've seen them play on process where they had designed plays you know when we gonna, we're gonna pushing forth we're gonna design a play that forces the uber or gets our uber in a certain way and this is just so not like them to have to not know how to get into last yeah well you know maybe they just didn't have enough time to actually strategize this particular map we'll find out uh, we will kind of playing around with this mouse there doesn't really know what to do uh, chess club are <laughs> floundering and this this must be a tough map to push that last yeah, it really is. It's tough to uh, push, but it's also tough to get out. So, uh, we'll see how this one ends up here. We do see that heavy on last, getting a lot of damage out onto the bomb burners coming in from Chess Club. They tried a three-man sack this time. They're literally just trying every single variation they can think of. One man, two man, now it's three. Uh, they backed up all the way to the second point, and Boomer's on heavy, so he might be able to hold this one off uh, as the Uber's coming out, and the Uber er forced early in that lobby there to Kermit. Wow, another sticky trap taking down Mela the pocket as Blinky drops him once again, and Zetsi's going to get pushed back here. Now KBK has that... Uh, the rest of the uber coming in but it's not able to do anything as kermit can't chase anybody down as a demo it seems like the distance between last and second is really long and really choky and that works against both teams here uh, especially because you have blinky for instance it's almost impossible for him to get his uber force when he's sitting in that little bunker behind the point it's yeah. just it's a it's impregnable it's a fortress yeah, we do see that level 3 sentry trying to do some damage there as Relic takes down Visitor. Uh, we see tries trying to sneak up on that right side. The cap time going onto the point though as Weeble snuck his way on there from the ground and the Zensity were, yeah, you're right, they're snuck behind that bunker, but if you stay behind the bunker too long, you're not going to get out to defend your point, which caps so quickly. And now the chess club have made it 3-3. Yeah, so at this point, uh, it's any, man, any man's game. Any pawn or rook or knight's <laughs> game? What do you want to say? What about um, the queen? No, no, we don't have any queens here. Oh, so, okay. queens are so OP, dude. So, uh, <laughs> chess club, though, getting out, and once again, you've got Kermit taking a bit of early damage from Smacka. Um, Spades taking the high ground here. He doesn't want to let these soldiers get free high ground advantage. 
Mela, though, with a nice little uh, point-blank air shot, I guess you could call it, off on, uh, is that Visitor, maybe? I don't even know who that was. Regardless, it was a good shot. Zensity uh, looking decent for this fight, but they have actually just backed out a bit. Uh, it's, it's RB is really being aggressive right now. Kermit does go down, and at this point, KBK and trying to get out of there. It's going to be Uber time, and KBK, does he actually have it? He does. He is milking this Uber as much as he can. He oh. wants to see if he can get away with some kind of an advantage, but no. Oh no, he's just stuck there. Uh, oh well, actually with the rest of that Uber, he does Uber a scout to try and chase down RB underneath. Can he finish him off? RB's so lit now. Boomer's pistoling him. Oh, nice finish by Visitor. And speaking of Visitor, he played so well that last mid. Uh, early bomb yeah. there, and he also got the Demo Man down. But yeah, uh, Chess Club, you know, were, didn't they they lost too many players, and by the time KBK tried to have his Uber, uh, he just had no one to Uber there. And <laughs> since he came in with theirs and forced them, so now we do say Me Mela picking off Visitor. Uh, Boomer gets Relic in the lobby. Still going to be uh, five on four for Chess Club as they do see Spades out in the in the valley. Uh, Weeble's going to go down, but Boomer finishes him off. So uh, can they get into mid now? They do that man advantage they want. Boomer trying to sneak around behind the combo, but oh, he's going to get spotted by everybody from Zensity here. But he's not getting finished off. He actually gets great damage onto Smaga before he gets taken down by so RB. Good. And I mean, he was, oh, he was running around there. He got basically the only kills in that entire series. Uh, the whole fight for his team. He was the one cleaning everything up. Everyone else, he, he's, he's kind of walking around like, okay, well, looks like I'm watching my team die, but at least I can salvage this situation. Boomer, the hero they need. Yeah, now Chess Club pushing in with their Uber into mid. Uh, Blinky's nowhere near it as he already used his. Spades taking out Weeble though, it's a nice early pick. But uh, Visitor doing work on the flank to take down Relic and Spades. Goes down to Smacka though. Uh, and uh, Chess Club in a weird position where they're capping mid. Meanwhile the back cap coming in behind for Zensity, but no, it's not early enough. And Chess Club able to take mid. And with those respawners coming in at forward spawn soon, it's going to be trouble for RB who's stuck behind. Yeah, Smack could go ahead and grabbing that health kit finally. He was way out of that fight. <laughs> and if you're stuck behind on mid, I don't know what you do here. Um, Chess Club, they could make the decision to just turn right back around and take down Smacka, which is a, an easy one, I think, for them to make. They do spot him coming out here. He's doing a ton of damage, oh though. Oh, my God. And he takes down KBK. How do you let that happen? Yeah, they knew he was back there. They saw the three cap on their second point, and they didn't go back to do anything about it. They just kept moving forward to hold that lobby choke, and they went down. Meanwhile, Kermit goes down, so no Demo Man alive for Chess Club. Now, Oov trading with uh, Blinky, or sorry, Mela there. Uh, and yeah, Chess Club in a very bad spot. Zensi able to salvage the situation and recap mid, and now Blinky's gonna have the large Uber advantage to push second, and uh, at least Zensity know how to push fourth. Yeah, so Zensity, uh, they're looking pretty solid right now after having gotten rid of their opposing medic there and, and just generally being good at the game. Uh, Chess Club now have their own problems to deal with. They're gonna have an Uber disadvantage. Uh, at least they didn't get taken out by the Sticky Trap round this time, mm -hmm. but uh, are they really just going to sit here on last? Or, you mean Chess Club going to sit on last? Yeah. Well, I I don't know. They're in a really weird spot where they need to force Blinky at the second point before they're going to last. Uh, and, yeah, they do see now that Uber coming in for Zensity. Going to get forced really early up as the soldier's jumping up into the air, uh, trying to get some cap time on the point. Weeble goes down here, but they need more frags to make this happen. Uh, Relic Spades going down, and uh, that's exactly the opposite of the one. That's what you call a reverse pick in TF2. And now here comes Try to bomb in onto the combo, getting great damage there. Boomer goes down. Visitor goes down as well. Can Try finish anything off? Kermit, yes, he does the work and finishes off Smacka and RB. He's trying to chase the medic out, uh, but Blinky has already made it out the valley, and now they have 50% advantage to do whatever they want in mid. Yeah, Chess Club, uh, they are not playing a very solid game right now. Zensity able to push him out, and uh, we do see the Spades cam at the moment being nice and overhealed. Of course, everybody's getting overhealed here. There's not a lot of fighting going on as these choke points are separating the teams. Um, try spotting that soldier somehow was not able to juggle him just right there, so he does escape for now. Yeah, and Chess Club need to get into the second point as soon as they can. They have that 20% advantage, but they're squandering it as Blinky is able to get it in time now. Chess Club taking, finally going out of the uh, the, the alleyway here with their Uber. I can't believe it, but Weevil goes down to smack a strap right before that happens, and now the Ubers are going to get exchanged on the point, but Zensity have that man advantage on the even Ubers here, and here comes Spades and uh, Mela trying to do some damage. Here they go now, pushing in, but oh, finding resistance at that choke. Me Mela, meanwhile, getting great Rockets onto the rest of the team. Uh, Relic follows up and takes down Try and KBK. And now three players down for Chess Club as they continue moving through that valley side. Now Spades moving underneath, trying to finish off. Kermit does get the finisher. Mela, meanwhile, taking down Visitor and Weeble goes down. 
And, uh, wow, that's, that's nice shots by anything. Spades. Spades doing some crazy meat shotting right there. And I, I thought you said uh, grape rockets earlier, which gave me a great idea for a new rocket launcher. <laughs> In Pyrovision, instead of firing rockets, he fires fruit. Uh, why why, why hasn't this been implemented already? Well, they do. Uh, I do a lot of surfing. They have a, a map called Surf Fruits, and I, I see fruits mm. every day. Every time I think about it, I just think watery, juicy, juicy fruit. <laughs> All right, well, n now I'm really hungry, and I don't have any food in my apartment, so I'm going to go back <laughs> and I'm going to shake my fist at you for saying Grape Rocket. But uh, Sensei pushing in with this nice Uber right now, doing a lot of damage there, and KBK down once again. Sensei's looking really solid. They're grabbing the second point. They should be able to grab last fairly soon. They may uh, they may try to slow it up. They've lost Relic here, so uh, they could just build the Uber. Yeah, you know, Chess Club had the right idea by trying to force the Uber on second point, but KBK just overstayed his welcome just a little bit too long, and now Sensei trying to get in the last with this, but they've completely botched that push. A lot of players going down for uh, Zen City there as Relic is the respawner, and wow, I can't believe that they did that. They they had everything going for them, they got KBK, they just needed to pull back and get the second point, but uh, Chess Club had enough players at the second to stop it, and then uh, the, the forward pushing players got taken out, so uh, now oh, Relic, what are, you, what are you doing, Relic? What are you doing? Well, he's trying to hide on that health pack there. He's not going to find anybody, though, and he might just try to go for a back cap. Uh, Which would be interesting. I thought maybe that scout was going to go grab the health kit, but no, sir, he's... Uh, He's, he's way behind the enemy team right now, so he may not go for the back cap. Instead, if I were him, I'd just go straight for the med, and it looks like that's what he's going to do. He's going to jump in here, did one rocket on the med already, oh. and they, are, they had no clue he was there. KBK eating that last rocket from Relic. What a beautiful play, and the skill stick comes out, taking Kermit down. Wow, Chess Club wiping their Relic, hiding in that health pack, and they really had no idea he was there. They, they didn't even check it. They had no idea he was coming, and uh, wow, KBK is having a hard time staying alive in this half. He's died twice here uh, before getting Uber, and now Sensity pushing into last. They're going to have an Uber. KBK nowhere near it as Smacka getting great damage onto the door, and that's particularly devastating because there's no crit heals in that direction. And Zensity, I don't, don't want to hear anything about your grape damage, okay? <laughs> Am I saying grape or great? You're saying great. I'm oh, just, man. I'm hungry. So, um, <laughs> I gotta say, this is one map I really would never want to play on Prop Hunt. Um, just because it would be so incredibly difficult to find anyone. There's so many hiding spots. Yeah, it's really tough there, but, uh... But now Zensity up 4-3 as we approach what could be the final round, a uh, match point for Zensity. Mela up on the air. No, taken down by Try. Meanwhile, Visitor gonna go down. And, oh, Weeble getting a nice kill onto Smacka. And, oh, more players going down for Zensity here as Chess Club able to push out Zensity, cleaning up the rest of the players. Uh, Spade's gonna go down, going for a sacrifice. And now Blinky and RB are alone on second point. Weeble pushing his way in there and actually going for a flank. He goes go for the fight against RB and beats him without a buff. Oh, He's all over the no. medic now, but, ooh, needled, needled away. Yeah, those, those needles, they are actually pretty fierce, but it looks like that is still not going to matter as Blinky is down real fast there, try jumping in and finishing that off. He's just like, no, sir, we're going to put all the periods in the end of our sentences, dot the T's and cross the I's, and uh, yes, I said that right. And uh, <laughs> no, he's not going to let that medic get away, so things are going to be looking really good right now. The Uber comes in, Weeble not wasting any time. He's on the point already, and uh, this is going to be a nice fast round. Yeah, Chess Club did exactly what they needed to do there, take down the enemy medic and keeping theirs alive, and Blinky died so late in that fight, there was no way he was going to get the Uber in time, or the heals out there, and now Chess Club have made it 4-4, this is match point now, as uh, looking at the stats, look at the scouts presents at the top of the board, but Boomer on the other side doing really well, and uh, hopefully... Well, we'll see which which team comes out on top. Both Demogun arriving at approximately the same time. Kermit has the high ground. Smacka on the floor. Spades trying to get very aggressive here. Actually moving out the right side, but getting uh, damaged by Kermit. Meanwhile, Visitor looking for an angle to jump in. Spades pressuring very aggressively across the point. Taking stickies of his own. Weeble goes down, though, to Spades. Relic and bombing Relic it behind. Jumping straight in. Yeah, he kills Kermit very easily, and this is not going to look good for KBK. He is down. RB finishing him off. Relic kind of, uh, you know, cratering and... and not feeling too good about that one. Looks like he's going to need some uh, some hip replacement Oof. therapy. But um, no, Zensity is now looking very solid to capture mid, finally. Thing is, uh, they're taking so long to do that, this could still drag out a little bit longer here. Uh, they've got the Uber advantage, but they may not be able to use it on last. Yeah, but uh, they did exactly what Chess Club did on the last mid. They just reversed it this time and took down the enemy medic, kept theirs up. They're going to have extremely large advantage for Chess Club. And if I was Chess Club, I would be so worried right now as Zensity now moving uh, through the lobby on the way to last. They're probably going to come out that left side with their combo as that is the closest uh, way to come out next to the point. 
We see Boomer as heavy uh, hiding underneath, but they need a Pyro here if they're going to want to hold off the Zuber as they've popped in now, uh, pushing in with RB to try and take down the Devilman. No, Kermit does go down to Relic though off that flank. Boomer though as the heavy underneath is able to hold off so many players getting so many picks. And it's still going to be two on two. Relic bombing into the point. Or sorry, Mela bombing into the point. Relic with a skill stick out, trying to get a scout here. Oh, he does get Weeble. Try goes down, and Zen City cap it. Oh Make it 5-4. Let's, let's, let's watch the instant replay of this, I guess, as we do see uh, it's you know the Relic and Mela versus Try and Weeble fight. And even though Relic, you know, look at this. I mean, Chess Club on such low health there. Relic was on low health too, and and it could have gone either way right there until the very end. Zen City winning your match 5-4 to four on Metalworks. GG, Mr. Slim. That was incredibly close the entire way, but again, a crucial match as these teams try and uh, make land. And uh, it's going to be really close, actually. But uh, having said that, we kind of know what's happening with these teams. As we, Like I said, uh, these matches are pre-recorded. And, uh, well, I didn't have... know this time around. Oh, well, uh, at least I know. <laughs> no. <laughs> Zen City have, have to win every single match from here on out if they want to make land and uh, they have a very tough match this Thursday against BP for the ESCA match of the week and uh, they got their work cut out for themselves. That they do. Now, before you guys hop off and leave and stop watching this video, there's a couple of things that we want to mention. Of course, uh, you can see our little Twitter handles up there. Uh, you should subscribe to all of the Team Fortress TV stuff if you want to see more of this wonderful action. And in particular, uh, the Team Fortress TV Twitch account. If you hit that subscribe button, you can use the special little faces. And those faces, Mr. Slynn, they have uh, they have expanded their reach, haven't they? Yeah, you can actually use the faces now on any uh, Twitch page on all over the site. So uh, it's pretty incredible what uh, Twitch TV has done for us. And uh, I really enjoy that. So yeah, definitely hit that subscribe button. Uh, really supports the casters, uh, supports everyone here at Team Fortress TV. And uh, also one other announcement to make. Uh, tomorrow night we'll be casting a great match between Fully Torqued and Vector Gaming on CP Gravel Bit. That was a match from week five. And uh, we're just about caught up here with all of our matches. So. Yeah, we are. This, this of course, was a very old match. Tomorrow will be one of the most recent ones that we've done. An amazing match. Uh, Gravel Pit Vector versus Fully Torqued. And, of course, again, this is going to be another post-produced match. It's going to be another one that's already happened in the past. So if you know what happened and you don't care... Uh, about watching, then I guess you don't have to watch. But the the whole idea behind these, of course, is that we are getting the best camera angles and we are getting absolutely all of the amazing shots mm -hmm. from the game that we may have missed when we did it live. So uh, right. to that end, we want your help. We want you to tell us what could be better about these casts. Do you want to see more of this guy, more of that guy, less of you know that particular person? Who knows? Uh, different camera work. <laughs> feedback is appreciated for us. We love you and we, we love feedback. Yes, sir. And uh, with that, we're going to sign out. Thank you so much for joining us on this uh, recast. My name is Mr. Slynn. I'm here with Salamancer, and Beater was our cameraman. And uh, good night. Later, dogs.